Hello everybody, how are you today? Oh my gosh, it's another awesome Friday. The sun is trying to peek out, although I'm probably the only one that is saying, sun, wait until I'm done with my Facebook Live video and then you can come out, because I think it really messes with the, uh, I don't know, the lighting in here. So I'm, I'm the only one, like I said, praying that maybe it, it won't come out for a little while. It's pretty bright out there, but that's a good thing too, right? So anyway, welcome everybody. I'm so glad to be with you today. Another Facebook Live Facebook Friday. As always, I have so much to show you. It's funny because I prepare for this you know, um, I did it last night, the preparation, and I'm, I, at first, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I think I have lots of stuff to talk about, and then I, I'm kind of panicked, because I'm like, maybe I don't have enough, and then every single week, I'm like, oh, okay, I have to take out this, and this, and this, because it's going to go way too long otherwise, so I tell you what, every single week is going to be jam-packed, because there's always so much to tell you guys about, so... Anyway, I want to kind of jump right in and get started. Um, it's funny because last week I did not give like the quick update and I had um, a couple of different people say, hey, we love to hear what's going on with you, so make sure you update us. So I thought, you know what, I am going to do that. Um, and it's funny, there's some weird icon that just popped up, I think. If anybody, um, if you're on, comment and let me know. What is that icon? I, I want to click on it and see. Is that going to do something? I don't know. Nope, maybe not. Maybe it's good. Maybe it was like a lighting thing or something. So sorry, my nose is all up in there. Excuse me, let me back up a little bit. So anyway, quick update on what's going on. Um, so my son Cade, he's a freshman in high school this year. He's been playing on the freshman basketball team. And they had their, really, it was their first like close call, close game last night. Um, which was super exciting. Uh, you know, it's always fun to watch, you know, a game that's kind of close and intense and everybody's playing hard. So that was their game last night, but they won. So they are continuing to be undefeated, which is pretty awesome. They're, you know, I don't know, maybe halfway or so through the season. And so we're hoping, you know, each game we go to, we're hoping for another win. So anyway, that's been a lot of fun uh, to watch. You know, like I said, my son, a freshman, playing on the high school basketball court. It's pretty cool. And then, um, what else? Oh, Lily. So we went to the doctor like a couple, I think it's been about two weeks ago that she got out of her boot. So she's kind of slowly been um, getting back into all of her dancing because actually it's already next weekend. She has a big performance. Um, she's on a, um, a competitive dance team. And so here in Alma, they do a whole show um, where they perform for everybody locally because they'll go to these competitions and they're like all weekend long. So lots of grandmas and grandpas and you know other family and friends, they don't necessarily want to come to those competitions. So they do this show here right in town so that you know all the people that love to watch their kids dance can come do that without having to travel and sit and watch a whole bunch of other kids that don't even know who they are at the competition. So she is back basically um she has been she was dancing in her tennis shoe with like a I don't know, an arch support for a little while. And now she's like, she's ramped back up. She's back into it. Her foot is really not bothering her, which I am amazed at. I guess that six weeks in the boot really did help. Um, I was concerned because as soon as she got out of it, it was, it was kind of hurting a little bit, but maybe it just took, you know, a little bit of time to kind of get um, used to things again. So anyway, it's all is good. Um, yeah, I think that's really about it. So let me, I wanna, I gotta check my notes. Um, oh, okay, I have something new that I want to announce. So I am doing a new drawing for, I'm gonna show you guys. Can you guys see? Oh, I don't know, how are they gonna show up? These are the gold, there, that looks better, the gold faceted gems. And I'm gonna do a drawing. Basically, anybody that is watching, if you comment on the video, you can make any kind of a comment that you want or if you share the video. Um, and uh, obviously if you're not able to watch it live, if you comment later when you watch the video, that's great too, or if you share it later when you watch the video, that's awesome. Basically, I'm gonna, um, like Thursday night probably, yeah, Thursday night, I'll go back through and I'll um, pull all the comments and I'll put your name in the drawing and somebody is gonna win the gold faceted gems. So comments, I would love to hear what your favorite celebration item is and why maybe, that would be a fun thing to comment about. Um, you can make comments about the video if you have any suggestions. I am totally open to some, some you know, suggestions on things that you wanna hear about or even, 
you know, I don't know, my setup or something, if you have suggestions on that too, because this is all still new to me and I'm kind of working out the tweaks. So, um, but I think we're doing well. It says my connection is good. I think I've gotten that part figured out. Hopefully when I move the camera down and we do our demonstrations, I feel like that's been a little bit blurry. So I'm really hoping that that'll be good today. So uh, fingers crossed for that. Um, but make sure, comment and share the video and then you'll get your name in the drawing and somebody is gonna win those awesome gold faceted gems. Yay! Okay, what else? Oh, I wanna give a shout out to our newest Inkspired stamper. Her name is Mary Newhouse. Welcome, Mary. She just bought the starter kit. Basically, that's how you become an Inkspired stamper is buy the starter kit. I've told you guys all about that deal. Basically, she picked $125 in product plus two free stamp sets, and she paid only $99 plus tax. So it's an awesome deal. Anybody can buy that starter kit. Anybody can become an Inkspired stamper and become a part of my downline. Um, lots of great benefits if you want to do that. I'm not going to go through them all, but if you go to my blog at Gathering Inspiration with the K, GatheringInspiration.com, and you click, there's like a toolbar up at the top, um, and one of them says, Hi Rosa, how are you? Um, one of them says, jo uh, Become an Inspired Stamper. If you click on that, you'll be able to see all the benefits of um, becoming an Inspired Stamper when you buy that starter kit. Hi Wendy, how are you today? Um, what else? What else? Oh, I know. <laughs> Yay. She's sending like little thumbs up. I love the little things that like float across the screen, although they like totally, you know, take me off my train of thought too. So I apologize. Um, oh, I know the other thing because I'm every week I am doing the Facebook live, obviously. And then I'm also just about once a week, I am trying to upload a video to YouTube also. So if this is not enough fun for you, hop on over. Hi, Nikki. How are you? Hop on over to YouTube. And if you search gathering inspiration, just make sure you put the K in there. It's not inspiration. It's inspiration, right? Because we are playing with ink, paper and ink. Um, if you search for that gathering inspiration, you'll find me. And then if you become a subscriber, then you'll always get notifications of new videos that I upload to YouTube as well. These Facebook live videos are all um, uploading to YouTube. And then um, those other videos I do are um, generally just a demonstration. You don't actually see my face, um, but I do the demonstration part, you know, where I show you how to make cute stuff and I kind of go step by step how to do it and tell you all about the product that we're using. So make sure you check that out if you haven't done that already and become a subscriber. I'd love for you to do that. Um, okay, what else? Oh, okay. So yay, guess what? We had two people that put in online orders last week. I know, I mean, it's kind of crazy that I get like that excited, but so those two people, their names are going in the drawing. So check this out. I have the two names. I've got my little tin right here. Oh, and before I forget, what are they gonna win? One of them is gonna win, can you guys see? Uh, I don't know. That glare is weird, isn't it? The Heartfelt Bloom stamp set. It's that gorgeous flower and then those three great sentiments. I'm going to read them to you because they're backwards. Sending heartfelt thoughts, thank you, and thinking of you. So this is one of those free celebration items. You get it free with a $50 order. Yay! I know. It's pretty awesome, right? Okay, so whose names are in here? I'm going to tell you them, right? So Leah Patton, and you probably totally cannot see this. This is like little scraps of paper that I wrote Leah's name on. And Miss Wendy Drowley also. Yay! Wendy's in the drawing and she's on here. I love that. Okay, so seriously, actually, I'm going to fold them up in little squares. So I cannot see, and then I'm gonna try to kind of, can you hear I'm mixing them around, right? <laughs> I know, thumbs up, Wendy. Yep, okay, so who's it gonna be? All right, let's see, I've got one, and who is it? Hey, oh, it's Leah Patton, and she's all the way out in Washington, the state of Washington, so yay, Leah, you're gonna get this stamp set in the mail. So I'm gonna keep that right over here, so I make sure to get that out to you. Um, you know what? I might as well tell you right now where I don't, I don't actually have them here. Of course, they're down at the studio and I forgot to grab them, but I'm going to tell you right now. Um, I'm going to tell you now and I'll tell you again later too. So just like today, how those two names went in the drawing, if you put in an online order between now and next Wednesday, it has to just be at least a $30 order, right? Oh, I know Wendy's like crying tears. I'm so sorry, Wendy. I wish I had pulled your name. Maybe next time, you never know, right? Um, 
Okay, so if you put in an online order of at least $30 by next Wednesday, which I can't even remember what day that is, but whatever next Wednesday is, right? Midnight next Wednesday, your name goes into drawing to win. I'm gonna show you. I should have had this marked and I don't. I'm gonna give away, it's another celebration item. Can you guys see? Yeah, you can. So do you see the tutti fruity note cards and envelopes? They're right here on this page. They are super duper cute. I've seen so many awesome projects made with those note cards and envelopes. You cannot tell, but there's um, kind of like a pre-printed uh, pattern or design on each of the cards themselves. So they're really fun. It almost looks like there's designer series paper already on the card front, and then people are you know adding tons of fun stamps and embellishments and things to the cards. So your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the tutti fruity note cards next week if you put that $30 order in online you also are going to get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate later on in this video I'll give you the host code because yeah you're not going to be able to read it if I show it to you right now um, but that host code is always on my blog because I had somebody asking about that the other day um, if you don't catch it on this Facebook video just go to gatheringinspiration.com everything is there basically you get links to YouTube and Pinterest and Facebook and shopping online you get the host code um, information about joining the club and buying the starter kit and becoming an inspired stamper everything is on there so if you're ever not sure where to go go to gatheringinspiration.com and you'll be able to either find that information there or there's a link to get you to what you need there also and you can always email me at amy.ferlici at yahoo.com if you have any questions anytime too okay um yeah so let's see what else what else Oh, I want to tell everybody. So update what's going on down at the stamp studio. Um, well, let's see, we're playing bingo this Wednesday. That registration is already cut off, but watch for, I'll do, I do bingo three times a year. I'm doing this, but three times a year. So I will be doing another bingo probably in June usually June, June, early July, when the next annual catalog comes out. I try to do a bingo with every single new catalog that comes out. And we always have so much fun. So I'll be an update and I'll show you the projects that we made at Bingo, um, probably on next week's Facebook Live. Um, but let's see, what could you attend down at the Stamp Studio in, um, let's see, the end of this month. It's on Tuesday, January 30th is our scrapbook class. And we hold scrapbook class down at the Stamp Studio the last Tuesday of every single month. We make three 12 by 12 page layouts. So we'll make a two page spread and then one single page spread that will match with the single spread a single page spread from next month. So you always end up with the two page layouts. It's like you're gonna get one and a half one month and then the other one and a half the next month, if that makes sense. Um, that class is always either a flat $15 fee or if you put an order in, then you get your projects for free. I do need RSVPs by, let's see, this Sunday, actually Sunday, January 21st, if you're interested in attending the scrapbook class. So just let me know on that. And um, what else, what else? I'm gonna show you, I think we're gonna move the camera now because I wanna um, show you those, uh, uh, the class to go, I couldn't remember what I was calling it. Yeah, the class to go projects. Um, this is something, if you cannot make it to a live class at the Stamp Studio, I want you guys to know that every single month I have an option um, where you can get a class to go in the mail. So let me, I just have to check my notes and make sure that I told you about everything first. So bear with me one sec. Talked about that. Um, yep. Isn't that funny? I'm trying to read my scribbles now. Yep. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Okay, so this is the part where you turn your head away so that you don't see all the craziness of moving. Okay, we're good. I thought I lost you guys for a sec. Okay, bear with me just a minute. And we are that sun and the glare. Let's see if we can get this focused. I think that was one of my problems the other day was I wasn't waiting. Yeah, now it's focused. Hold on though. <laughs> I did this the other day. I don't know if you guys remember this, but I was like literally like sliding the table because I do not like, now that's worse, isn't it? Am I gonna be able to get it to a place where it's not bad? Hold on ladies, hold on. I'm gonna move it. Yeah, that's bad right now. It's a good thing this table slides easily. 
Hold on, we're going on a little ride. There. I think that looks better, don't you guys? Are you happy with that? Somebody tell me, does it look okay? The other thing, I'm trying to make sure everything is straight on here too, which is not always the easiest thing in the world to do. Actually, I'm moving this out of the way for a sec. I will bring this into view though, so you guys can see this, because someone was saying, you always have that right on there, and she couldn't find it there. Okay, thanks, Nikki, I'm glad. Okay, everything looks straight and everything's good. Okay, so back to what I was talking about, that class to go in the mail. So it's the Picture Perfect Birthday class to go. Now, last week I went through all the details of it. I'm not gonna do that this week, but I just want you guys to know that it's out there as an option. That class, and there are four different options for class. The first option, you get the stamp set. You get the full pack of the Picture Perfect Designer Series paper. I'm flipping through that very quickly. And then you also get four projects. Well, actually eight projects, but we're going to have four of them and then two of each of them. So you'd make two of this card, two of this card, two of this card, and two of this card. And I send you all the parts and pieces to make the card. You get your stamp set and your ink and you do your own stamping, okay? The second option, and I am honestly, I didn't bring my sheet over here so I can't tell you prices. The second option is if you already have the stamp set so you won't get that. But you will get the full pack of paper and all eight cards to each of four different designs. The third option is if you just want the tutorial, if you don't want any of this stuff, but you just want the tutorial to tell you step by step how to put all the projects together. And actually, if I didn't say already, in option number one and two, you get the tutorial also. Option number four is for anybody that is in my downline. So brand new Mary would qualify for this. Anyone that's in the Inkspired Stampers group, you get the tutorial and all the parts and pieces to make all eight cards. Um, and that is at a significantly reduced price because you're in my downline and I love to give benefits to anybody that is in my downline and bought the starter kit, okay? I will um, give you a link um, in the comments to this Facebook Live video for all the details in terms of pricing and being able to sign up um, when I'm done with this video. The other option is you can always go to my YouTube channel. Again, just search Gathering Inspiration and you'll find a video on there that references the Picture Perfect Birthday class to go, it's called. Um, and all the details are on there and then the links um, to purchase any of the options are on there as well in the details of the YouTube video, okay? So check that out. This class is awesome. The paper is totally cute and the, and the projects are totally cute too. You guys are gonna love these cards. I cannot wait to get them out to everybody. Okay, what else? I start flinging everything. You know, I say this every single week and then I'm trying to figure out. Oh, the one thing I forgot to mention, if you are interested in that per picture perfect birthday class to go. RSVPs are due by next Friday, which is January 26th. So I'll have one more shout out next week um, on the Facebook Live video just to make sure if there's anybody else that's interested in that kit. Okay? Oops. Flinging everything around. <coughs> what else? Let's see. Oh, I want to show you guys. Okay, so I always tell you um, I have been participating in swaps um, with other demonstrators kind of from all over the country. That's the really fun part about these swaps that I'm able to participate in. Um, so I, I'm, I actually have a whole bunch of cards and instead of trying to go through them super fast and show you them you know, all at one time, I'm gonna spread them out. So I'm doing a few cards this week and then I'll do a few over the next couple of weeks so you can see all the swaps that I have received lately. Um, so let me grab those. I need to grab a quick sip of water. And let me, I want to show you, so these are things that, do you guys want to see that? I don't know, maybe just in case I have that host code there. Okay, okay, so do I say that 15 million times? I'm always so self-conscious about that. This is the celebration brochure. This is the catalog where when you spend $50, you get to pick a free item out of the celebration catalog. There are two items in here, and I think I'm showing you projects that use those items also, that when you spend $100, you get to pick those items instead. Um, that's not to say, because I had somebody ask me that the other day, if you spend $100, you can get two items out of here, but you also you know, instead could get one of those higher valued items out of here too, if that makes sense. So either 
$100, would you get you two $50 celebration items or one $100 celebration item? There's no, you know, they don't make you get that higher valued $100 celebration item, okay? So let's see here. I'm gonna flip this open. And actually, I flipped right to the right page. So can you guys see, I feel like we have a pretty good connection today. I'm really, really excited about that. So this is that beautiful peacock stamp set. I'm like zooming right in there, right? Okay, so super cute. I've seen so many fun projects. Like even if the peacock doesn't speak to you, I've seen a lot of fun things done, even with those kind of swirls. Um, I feel like there was a wreath even made. You could kind of layer that around. I feel like I saw that somewhere. Very, very cute. So this is the first swap card I'm gonna show you. It's just a really cute, can you see? You gotta get up close to see that um, peacock there. Isn't he so cute? Because you stamp, it's really fun, because you stamp this stamp and then the peacock fits right inside of there. Isn't that cool? And then she stamped, um, I think this is, Lemon Lime Twist, so kind of faintly in Lemon Lime Twist ink, she stamped those. And then maybe there's a little bit of a glare. I did not pull these out of the sleeves because I like to keep them intact because I take these all down to the stamp studio and display them down there too. But this one is from Kay Cogbill and she's down in Little Rock, Arkansas, it says. Okay, let's see. Next was, yes, this is one that... I feel like I have not seen too many projects with yet, so it was fun. I got a couple of swaps with the Epic Celebrations stamp set. So I just think it's really cool, and I, I honestly haven't done much with it yet either. I cannot wait. I feel like, I don't know, I've been doing so many other things and not enough like playing with product lately, so I'm getting really, really antsy and excited to start playing with some things. So let me show you. This one is right here. Can you see? So she just used... Um, this stamp, the Here's to an Epic Celebration. So this would be a really good kind of masculine birthday card, I would say. You know, we're always looking for more of those. And this is kind of fun. I think it, I don't know if there's a stamp like this. If not, she might have taken a clear block and just inked up the clear block itself and then stamped it. And it looks like maybe once full ink, once with what was left and then the third time with what was finally left there. So isn't that what a nice idea for that stamp set, right? And then I'm gonna show you, this one is kind of a, a twofer where you're gonna see the Epic Celebration stamp set right here with the um, earphones. Maybe those are beats, I don't know, it doesn't say, right? But that's my son's favorite, of course, right? And then also the Bubbles and Fizz designer series paper. Oh my gosh, actually you get three things on here too because this is the Bubbles and Fizz Designer Series paper and then this ribbon is part of that Shimmer Ribbon Combo Pack. Can you see that? Kind of move it around in the light. So that is the um, basic gray shimmer ribbon with just a little bit of a shimmer there. So that's another cool birthday card, right? And what else? I've got another, this super cute. Um, this stamp set, honestly, I'm trying to remember because I forgot to look it up last night. Um, this is not an occasions catalog item. I'm thinking it's in the celebration. Well, I'm sorry. This is not a celebration item, so it's either in the occasions or annual catalog. But here's more of that designer series paper, the Bubbles and Fizz designer series paper, and then some of, can you see that? the shimmer ribbon the bermuda bay shimmer ribbon and aren't those little guys so cute i'm gonna have to look that up because they <laughs> and the stamp says we're behind you all the way it's like a good kind of encouragement card how cute is that um that would be a fun card you know if you're needing a little pick me up and someone sent you this card i think you'd be feeling good um, okay, here's another one that shows more. So this designer series paper, the Bubbles and Fizz, has been so much fun to play with. So that paper is right there, but then it also, let me flip to the page. Here we go. It features, and this is one of those that I was talking about, free with a $100 purchase. Can you see these are framelits that say celebrate and amazing in you? Okay, can you, let me get right, that, right up in there, right? Okay. So you got that, and then here is the stamp, I'm sorry, the Celebrate um, die cut out of those Celebrate You Thinlets. And then actually the U comes from, can you guys see that? The Amazing U stamp set. I'll show you that stamp set because the next card shows that one as well. Can you guys see all of that, right? So there's the U that's on that card, and this flower is beautiful. 
you're going to see that. And then these starburst things are really cool too. So let me show you this next swap card. I've been forgetting to tell you who these are from too. Shoot, I'm sorry about that. This one was from Monica Davis. Let's see, who are the others from? The cute little critter card. Oh, and people don't always put their contact information. Maybe it's inside, but I'm not going to open that right now. Oh, and then this fun one with those headphones is from Marsha Gay. And what, what, what about this one? The Epic Celebrations is from D. Slater. Okay, so thank you, ladies. Those are all wonderful examples of uh, projects that you can make with Celebration product. Now, this is the one I wanted to show you guys. Do you see? Look at the detail on that flower. I love that flower. And then do you see, oh, can you see in that light, the um, kind of starburst? She stamped them in all four corners of it too. Can you see that? Oh, I hope you can, maybe in the right light. And then there's more of the shimmer ribbon. And then she used some of these are the glitter enamel shapes. I love those things. And then the Celebrate You is from the Amazing You stamp set right here. Oh, and here's another one. Check this one out. So she did a lot of coloring on her flower here, probably with our Stampin' Blends. And it looks like there's some kind of glitter. I'm thinking maybe the Wink of Stella in there. Um, the leaf punch and then that starburst right there and then let's celebrate is what she stamped um, from that stamp oops move that over right let's celebrate there and then I love this I have not done this before ever I don't think she used one of our embossing folders and embossed vellum so you kind of get the um, calypso coral color coming like up behind the embossing that is so pretty isn't it whose idea was that Kelly Gracie very, very pretty card. Love that one. Love them all, actually. They're all good, all for different reasons. And then here's another one. Can you guys see? So this one also uses that really pretty flower, and then it says Amazing You on it, and she die cut both of those things out using the Celebrate You Thinlets right there. Now the last one I'm going to show you today features, <clears throat> this is the Happy Wishes stamp set. This is another one of those celebration items that you could get free with a $100 order. Okay, well, hi, Kim, how are you? Um, so let's see, lots of great sentiments. Oh, this, this stamp set would be good for so many different things, so many different occasions. Um, this one, she made a happy birthday card, and I love this color combination. It's not one that I probably would have thought of, but I'm definitely gonna be using it. This is, that looks like pool party, so pool party, card base and then a berry burst front she used this is one of the new embossing folders it's i'm drawing a blank it's a skinny kind of a long skinny one that's in the occasions catalog um, so that's a very pretty embossing folder and then some of the new tutti fruity sequins aren't those those are so fun and they have um, like a glue dot they call them adhesive back so you don't even have to put any adhesive on them they're already all there and ready to go which is very very cool so who made that one? I'm going to remember. Uh, Jen Pita, it says, by the shore stamping. Very cool. Hi, Amy Jo. How are you? Thanks for joining us, everybody. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, if you're ever not able to um, join me live at 1130, you can always catch this uh, Facebook live video on the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook page anytime. Um, I have gone back and re-reviewed a few of them, so I know they're all there from when I first started. This is, I think, I'm about a month in, so I'm I'm pretty proud of myself that we've been doing this every week um, for an entire month. I think this is maybe the fifth one that we're doing now, so yay, that's good stuff. Hopefully you all are enjoying these too. Um, I actually want to show you, there are, um, let me back up. So at our Simple Beautiful card class that we do the second Wednesday of every month down at the Stamp Studio. So I'll give a quick plug in for that. The next class, Simple Beautiful card class where we make four projects is gonna be the second Wednesday in February, which happens to be February 14th. I'm keeping that date. We're doing any time from four until nine on Wednesday, February 14th, and then always two days later on Friday. So the following Friday on February 16th is from one until three. Now, for those four projects that we make, you can either pay a flat $15 fee, or if you put an order in, then your projects are free. And honestly, with celebration going on right now, that's what most people are doing. They're putting an order in. They're actually putting like a $50 order in so they can get their free celebration item too. But I want to show you, I um, these are the... Th 
I'm going to show you the three cards that we made, and then I'm actually going to demonstrate the last one um, that we made at class. So this one is another, isn't this so cute? Now I'm going to try to zoom in closely here. Can you guys see? Now ignore, because I got, I think that fell in ink or something. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what happened with that guy. But anyway, I love this peacock stamp, and we actually fussy cut him out because I liked how he popped up off the page a little bit, you know, in front of his feathers. And then this is some of the Lemon Lime Twist Ombre Ribbon. And I will tell you, I do a lot of casing. So casing means copy and share everything. So there are some just really, oh gosh, amazingly talented demonstrators out there. Um, I don't really consider myself one of them. I think I'm more like I can find super cute projects and show you guys these. So that's what I do at class a lot of times because it seems like I'm always kind of, oh my gosh, I got to get cards ready and I'm kind of drawing a blank on what to do. So I'll pop on over to Pinterest or something. And this was a card that I found by Mary Fish. Um, she is just an amazing demonstrator. I love pretty much every single project that she ever makes. So check out her blog. It's actually called Stampin' Pretty. Um, you'll find a ton of cute projects on there too. But this was one that she did and I loved how she used the Peacock stamp set. So hi Nancy, how are you? We're showing the cards that we made at class last week. Um, so this is one of them. And then let's see the next one. Actually, so Mary, I loved so many things that she did. I actually, this is another card that I cased from Mary Fish for our class. So this one, and I'm trying to remember, I think this is called Flying Home. Oh, yes, hi Nance. Yep, forgot it was Friday. I know, that happens, doesn't it? Hmm? Well, you retired ladies, it's hard to keep up with what day of the week it is, right? <laughs> I only wish I was retired, right? Um, so this card, we used a bunch of the Stampin' Blends markers, and I wanna see, I'm gonna try to get right up in there so you guys can see. Uh, for example, this is Night of Navy, kind of, there are two different shades. There's a darker shade and a lighter shade. And then can you see this one? This is Bermuda Bay in the darker shade and the lighter shade. And then I'm gonna move back over here. These are old olive leaves in the lighter shade. And then can you see the, the I'm sorry, those are darker and then those are the lighter shade. So we just had a ton of fun coloring with these Stampin' Blends markers. They're just super like rich, saturated, just tons of color in the marker and they just go on so easily. So I love playing with those markers. This was a stamp set that I'm pretty sure we received at on stage. At least I did. I feel like maybe it was in an all attendee a giveaway. Anyway, but it's such a cute stamp set with the um, the little birdhouse and the um, birdie. Um, and then the thank you is actually from, I'll show you that because I've got that right here. And I might even, actually, I'm going to show you the other. Yeah, the thank you is from our Heartfelt Bloom stamp set. This has already been one of my most favorite stamp sets in the Occasions catalog. I'm going to see if I can find that stamp set for you there, though. Oh, my goodness. I went and worked out this morning, and I don't know. I'm getting too old. My knees are not loving the workouts these days. I should have flagged this. Oh, here are those cute critters. There they are. Can you guys see those? I'm going to show you those real quick too. This wasn't an, an intended, but um, look at that. So it's called We Must Celebrate. It's on page 39 of our occasions catalog. But look at all those cute. Oh my gosh. It's so funny how you can flip right past things and not even notice the stamp sets. But look at how cute those little guys are. And then the friends forever. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so off on a tangent. Sorry about that. I'm trying to find my stamp set. I know it's toward the back here. We're going to like see everything. I think it's toward the back here. Oh my gosh. Well, shoot, maybe not. Hmm. I'm trying to find my card. It's like, <laughs> what am I looking for again? Okay, so sorry. We're flipping through here because I'm determined to show you guys the stamp set. Apparently it wasn't as back, as far back as I thought. It was, but we'll get to it.